This is step 4 in a sequence of screencasts showing some drawing techniques in Microsoft PowerPoint. So we're trying to produce a, a diagram that looks like this and in the previous screencasts we've got as far as creating the shapes, entering the text and getting them aligned equally and um, distributed as such. What we're going to work on in this screencast is creating the arrows that connect the shapes together. So in earlier versions of PowerPoint we would be looking for something called connectors which was under the drawing menu. In Office 2007 uh, we can just use the line tool that appears here. So I'm going to use an arrow here. Now the key is when I hover over this shape I get these red squares appearing. If I click my mouse on this red square and then I drag to the next one what's happened is it has attached that arrow to the shape. Now what that means is, is if at any point I move my shape, I'm just going to drag it over here, you'll see that the arrow goes with it. So I haven't got to worry about repositioning the arrow. So I'm just going to undo that to put that one back. And that's the key, is making sure that your shapes, your, your arrows connect from red dot to red dot. Okay. Now if you're successful, once you've connected it, you'll end up with two red circles, one at each end of your arrow. If you've missed slightly, you'll end up with it having a white circle at one end. So always drag it and make sure you get red at each end and then you've been successful. So I'm using straight arrows for this part of my diagram. And I'll use another straight arrow to go across to there. Like that. And now for this last shape, I want an arrow that comes up here, it bends round and joins the plan part. Now what I need to use for that one is this shape here, which is an elbow arrow connector. So all I do is I click on my first point, I go to the next one, and you see that it does the bend for me. If I went for that top one, it would actually create two bends, okay, or two elbows in the, in the shape. So I'm going to put it to there, and it creates one, and it's neatly aligned. Now the beauty is, again, if I decided that I wanted to move that shape up a bit and out to that side, it would move the connectors for me. I wouldn't have to worry about changing the size of that line, changing the size of that arrow and realigning it. So I'll just quickly undo. Right, I now want to make my arrows a bit thicker because they're not that easy to see at the moment. Now there's two ways of doing it. I could select all of my arrows by holding my finger on the shift key and clicking. But the problem with that is if while well, holding, you move all the arrows. So the easier way or I think it's easier, is I'm going to format one of my arrows okay, by selecting one, going to the format and again I'm going to increase the weight, I'm going to go for at least three and I can I could change it to a dotted line by using the dashes option, I could change the type of the arrowhead um, so I'm going to have a thicker arrowhead, let's just change it to that one for, for now uh, and I can change the colours, so I'm going to go for a, let's go for a red arrow, just a difference so I've changed my, my arrow once, I'm now going to go to my home tab and this little symbol here a lot of people don't discover it's called format painter and what it will do is it will copy the formatting of whatever is selected and then reapply it to the next thing that I select. So if I click once it's copied the formatting of that item if I now click on this arrow you'll see that it will reapply the formatting and it will then be the same. And an even better tip is if I double click on this icon is it will now then stick so I don't have to keep going back to it. I can just keep clicking on each of my shapes in turn and it will reapply the formatting that I've selected and I then go back to it to uh, take the formatting option off and you can see now I've added my connectors they're all identically formatted uh, that was very very quick and very very easy.